on a boat in the Welcome Midwest. back. We had a boat the on the Mississippi River. Midwest Sports Show. We, right Gene, Gene is in mid rant here. No, I'm just saying. Would you? I uh, so we used to have a houseboat going down the Mississippi River with my dad, slugging down beers. Uh, yeah, that was traumatic enough. I'm not going on no cruise, so I don't think I. I may never get on a boat again for the rest of my life, just like a regular boat. Uh, oh yeah, maybe if I do the architectural tour in Chicago, where they take you down the boat, I might do that. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe they can't Chris quarantine you on that, can they? Gene, what if uh, you took that boat ride? Yeah. And uh, Chris Bryant mm. was on the ride. Yeah. But uh, before you got in, right. he said, uh, I have uh, coronavirus. Coronavirus. Oh, my God. Do you continue? Uh, no, I don't. And uh, by the way, he'll be playing for the Brewers by the end of St. Louis. <laughs> so. <laughs> The Brewers spend their money somewhere else, I know, somewhere younger. I know. But uh, we'll, to we'll talk about that in a minute. Oh, by the way, so I did see Kiss. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you, first off, David Lee Roth was so good. He did he did a bunch of Van Halen stuff. And then Kiss. I, so, I don't care about Kiss. I've never seen him. I have no desire to see so him. So does, does Van Halen know that David Lee Roth is uh, playing there, their shit? Yeah. yeah doing their, his stuff? I guess stuff? so. Maybe they don't care, but... Yeah, he opens for him, and he does uh, about nine songs, and they're all Van Halen, <laughs> except for just a gigolo. But did, did he do uh, California Dreaming, Gene? He didn't. He did not. He did. Uh, oh my! I'm, what? I'm just, I'm just Gene, I would ask. I would ask for my money back. He closed with Jump. He did all Van Halen. <laughs> he was so good. Did he actually write those songs for Van Halen? I don't think. I think. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you. I I agree. I'm I I. I if there is any chance going on a cruise, it's gone. You know, my sister Dawn, Mary, uh, anybody else, she's got a cruise booked for April. And uh, she goes, you think I should go? I go, uh, no, I'd rather fly a helicopter. <laughs> and I'm not doing that either. I'd rather take a helicopter ride in Calabasas. Yeah, or I'm wearing a Dubuque sweatshirt. So none of that, no no cruises, no helicopter ride. I'm done. I don't need any of that stuff. I'm not Gene, need to Gene, take a you got the Big Ten Network. Yes, that's all I need. You got DoorDash? Yeah. I don't use DoorDash. I use the Big Ten yeah, Network. Because those but drivers, uh, they open up the bag and take your fries. Right, right. And who knows? You know, they could be oh, cough, coughing cares? all over your fries, I too. know. We're paranoid. But I'll tell you, David Lee Roth, and, and I was in a full, it was at Staples Center where the Lakers play, and it was packed. And it was so it was sold out. But I didn't, I mean, I, I was glad people were going out and enjoying themselves. Did, <laughs> so wait, so this was recently? You did Last this? Last Wednesday. Yeah, um, I know. I think. I, yeah, I told. I think. Gee, we may weekend. have to do the show via Skype. Uh, yeah. for the oh, next for the next uh, month Wednesday, or so. Wednesday, and it was we're right in the middle of all this stuff, but it was great. And Kiss was so good. I mean, if if anyone, if there's any germs in the air, they're pyrotechnics. They have these huge blasts of fire, and I'm sitting in the second level, quite a ways away from them, and I could feel the fire on my face. Woo! Yeah. And then uh, it Pretty was Pretty dangerous. Out. Yeah, I know. I wonder how they do it. Gene Simmons was great. Uh, he Remember? put his tongue out, and he he, he chewed on some blood tablets. And he's like, wow. <laughs> Guy's like 80 years old. Yeah. I, he, it's like, okay, all right, Grandpa. Yeah, him and him and Paul Stanley, uh, the other guys that kicked out of the band, I think, Ace Freely and uh, but Peter the, they're They're asking for too much money. But they're on this farewell tour, and like, I know you, they've done You're just the bass. You're just yeah. the bass player. But they were great. They were, I'm telling you, it was a really fun show. And a lot of people get all dressed up. I go, that's a lot of work. Ooh. But anyway, so good for them. I don't know. So it was good to get Kiss. out and be amongst the people while L.A.'s in all this, you know, turmoil. Gene laughs I would in go the to face a, I would go to a sporting viruses. event. Well, I, well, I mean, what can you do? I think I'm healthy enough. I'll recover. So. Gene, would you... Uh, Use the trough at Wrigley Field I, next to <laughs> someone who obviously has the coronavirus. Yeah, I don't I, – because Wrigley, I use the trough. I might have to rethink that one. That one, I might have Can to you rethink. get the coronavirus by your Jake? I don't has know. anyone asked this? Oh, my gosh. Please let us Has anyone this asked out. this question? All right, that so my does. name is uh, – we should maybe say our oh, names. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's hey, the Midwest one. Sports Show. It's uh, – my name is Chris Statson. Yeah. Gene Steichen. Oh, this is very exciting. So yesterday – I watched uh, uh, Big Ten wrestling, and Iowa are the champs. Are is the champs. 
What for the Big Ten? Yep, they won, and they they pretty much crushed the field. When 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 is March Madness uh, well, uh, wrestling coming two, up? Two weeks, and I wonder what's going to happen there because they're the the NCAA's are in Minneapolis at the uh, where where the Vikings play. Bank is that a bank stadium? U.S. Bank yeah, stadium. Stadium. So. Uh, it's next week. Well, so I don't you know, know, Gene, they got so many of those birds flying into the window. I'm sure a couple yeah. bats did the same oh, thing. Oh, my gosh. They're, they're, I know. Oh, maybe, Is anyone maybe. eating those bats oh, they, down I'm, below? What are people doing? Uh, now I'm mad at the people for eating whatever they're doing. But anyway, uh, the wrestling, Iowa wrestling was great. They have three champs, and it was, it was awesome. It was really cool. So that that that's good. I'll be watching. Gene, what would you time. rather have, uh, coronavirus or ringworm? <laughs> What's that thing that like passes by people's skin or whatever? Hey, if I if I could have it for the rest of us, then uh, oh hello. Uh, uh, if I could have it for the rest of us to save humanity, I would take the bullet for <laughs> humanity. Jeez, uh, Gene, you're a modern day Jesus Christ. I've, I've had a good life. I, I I'll, I'll I'll sacrifice mine for the rest of the, for the good of the world, right? If we can figure this out. If they want to experiment on me, fine, go ahead. So be it. Yeah, so but anyway, so that's good. Good job, Hawkeye. And Nebraska was second, so that's good. All right, very interesting, Gene. Yeah. Very interesting. Well, Gene, we're going to talk about sports, even though it's very uh, – we're on the very cusp. Yeah. cusp. I haven't even watched cu- – I've only watched a little bit of, of Cubs. Baseball, and, uh, of uh, March Madness. Yeah, it's hard It's hard to uh, – yeah. Oh, my God. I. It's hard to get excited about baseball when the world's in turmoil. I want the world yeah, to Yeah, when be. the world is burning. Yeah, I want the world to be safe first, and then I'll worry about the Cubs. <laughs> Except for Iowa wrestling. Well, hey, Gene, they, they won wrestling. the World Series in 2016, so I guess you got new priorities, right? Yeah, I'm I'm more of a humanitarian now because the Cubs won. I All guess. right. Well, Gene, let's uh, you know, last time we were uh, talking about the election. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Last we week voted, in California, uh, Biden it, won. Oh, no, Bernie won California. California. It yeah. seems like a million years ago already, wow. huh? Wow. How much? It's been a rough week. But I got I got some bits. I got some uh, observations. I ended up I ended up going for Biden. Uh, I was thinking about Mayor Pete, but he dropped out before I got a chance. Yeah. Uh, but uh, good job. I, it looks like Biden's. Well, I, I Biden has a pretty good. I hope he picks a day lady in the South, uh, and I guess he's like up by like twenty points in Michigan. Yeah. Uh, and if you're hearing this, that means it's uh, Tuesday Ooh. in Michigan. We're not going to talk any lions or any tigers, I but uh, go vote. Um, but Gene, uh, let's talk a little bit about the election because uh, you know yeah. weird, weird things. Oh my god! Weird gosh. things happen on election day. And Gene, you're talking about all this iPad voting and yeah. all this stuff. Yeah. You, I, Gene, I thought this was just a uh, crazy thing that they got going on. Go right. ahead, do it if you want to. Gene, this is citywide. I know, I know. This is citywide, Gene. Right. First of all, Gene. Yes. I woke up very early to go, you know, because I. You oh, know, that Gene, was smart. If you're if you're Mike Wilbon or someone from Chicago. Yeah. What do you do on voting day? Uh, vote. You vote early. You oh, vote often. Oh, I see. I voted uh, late. And I once. once because it was a two hour line just to get inside. <laughs> That's why you wake up I early know. and do it at um, 7 a.m. I should have. Now, in retrospect, I made plenty of mistakes. It was just <laughs> not very well. But I heard a lot of places um, were like that. Well, we'll talk about that in a minute. But, uh, Gene, I, you know, I go walking towards my uh, normal pole, polling yeah. place. Yeah. Closed. Oh, yeah. Mine was, too. Not you, open. You have to go to a voting center. Well, Gene, they uh, they moved the polling place. Mm-hmm. Suppression, Gene. I, I think this is suppression. Oh, I see. I think this is voter suppression. I don't think they told me this. Okay. Uh, but so I basically had to walk the opposite way. Mm. And uh, good thing I did wake up extra early, Gene. Mm. Uh, because when I got there, no one there. Oh, you're so Empty. Lucky. Completely empty. Right, right. So I go up to the guy. He asked me for my – by the way, none of these guys want to take your ID. I pull up my ID and say, hey, do you, here's my ID. Um, they don't want it. They don't want to touch I ca- kind of feel like maybe you should check the ID. Call me yeah. crazy. Uh. Um, so they, they, they queue up your ballot by asking you how to spell your name. Right. Th- did this happen to you, Gene? Yes. Uh, that that's all. That always works really well. Yeah, like why, why not use my uh, ID, which has my name written down? <laughs> 
but uh, yeah. we're going to go through this whole process of uh, phonetically spelling my name. And then, right. so I say Stats. How do you spell it? S T A A T S. How do you spell that? S T A A T S. A what? What? Hey, what? Oh my People God. can't comprehend this. Right. Right. And the guy's like, uh, I can't. Oh, I can't find it. Can't find it. I, I guess I got to register you. Well, I, well, you know, I used to vote over on Vermont, but you know, the polling place changed, so maybe that's why. And then he called over the technician and all that stuff. Oh and I'm just God. thinking to myself, you know, it's it's early. Right. There's no one here. This is okay. But, like, what happens, like, on, on President's Day or the actual election uh, in November. where there's a long-ass line yeah. to vote? Where it was when this I This is going to be a disaster. Yeah. Right. And uh, so the technician comes over, and it turns out he put a Z at the end of my name, Gene, oh even though God. I told him an S. Oh, I thought you said Z, not S. Oh, uh, well, so you got to work out the kinks. Sir. So they pull it up. And then he gives me a sheet of paper. I walk over to the booth, and then you insert the sheet of paper. Yeah. And then you basically uh, vote on this uh, big screen. It's just like an iPad. Yeah. And at first it was uh, kind of, you know, I kind of didn't like it very much. Uh, but then after a while, you know, it uh, actually, I'm like, you know what? This actually cause it makes a lot more sense because it does. You know, you don't have to like worry about pushing the, you know, the 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 the, the ink the holes and all that stuff you know you don't have to worry about making a mistake and having your uh, sheet lined up incorrectly and all that and uh you can actually uh, correct stuff so if you made a mistake you can go back and like correct correct your selection radio and uh <laughs> would you would you agree with any of this yes, Do you have I, any disagree? i liked it no the hardest part was getting checked in, and they were there was only two women up front, and they're kind of older, and they were, they were, seemed confused by everything. Yeah, yeah. But once you got going, the actual voting was easy. It was yeah. great. So and 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 there was there must have been probably uh, twenty polling uh, iPad things, and there was only about three people voting at a time because the uh, the line was they couldn't get people through the line. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So. Pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, but then, yeah, so then you, you know, after you're done, it prints it out on a sheet of paper. Yeah. You look it over. It shows you everything in plain English. And then you put it back in. It scans it again. And then it saves it as a paper ballot. Yeah, so, it's great. Uh, pretty I, cool. I, pretty I cool like machine. That. I thought it was pretty good overall. That was when things were going well in California. Yeah. So I got in and out of there. And it uh, probably took me 20 minutes total. Yeah. And 15 minutes of that was probably uh, the, the douchebag. Uh, I won't call them douchebags. <laughs> you know, these are volunteers. These volunteer. They're not, I know. You know, who's going to volunteer to, like, work a freaking oh polling gosh. station? The place I was at in Hollywood, it was a thankless job because people were, yeah. Because they go, oh, I came on my lunch break, and, you know, I don't get a three-hour lunch break. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, uh, again, Gene, while I was there, there was only, like, maybe I think maybe two more people came in while I was voting there. Mm -hmm. But then when I got home. When I was uh -huh. walking home and I saw the line across the street over by the elementary school in Vermont, that line was around the block. I know. See that? Yeah. And, and I, I voted, was like, damn. I, I first stopped at the Hollywood Bowl where I live uh, right next to it. And there's a line so long out the park. And I go, oh, it's the community center has got to be better right by where I, next to where I live. And they have a basketball court it's for kids. And the line around there was, yeah, so hmm. – Maybe they didn't but, think people were going to vote. Yeah, it just seems like uh, new tech. Well, at least it's a primary, though, that they're yeah. doing the technology. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, people are calling it uh, suppression against Bernie support. I mean, it's California. I mean, right. I think people are trying to right. make it, you know, as that easy to vote Bernie's as possible. That was kind of last stand uh, winning California, even though, I think. I'm not sure. I don't know. Politics. We'll see. Yeah. And uh, what else um, should I say? Um, I don't know. Well, so, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's people, <laughs> it's every time there's an election, there's a long ass line. Yeah. All right. As long as I can remember when I was voting in college, uh, for, uh, mm. Gore, there was a long ass line. Right. Okay. Right. So this is kind of, it's not voter suppression. It's just that yeah, uh, a lot of people right. are voting, but vote early for God's sake. Yeah. Don't vote at 4 PM. I know. And we, we need, we need, um, yeah, and then I hopefully have to do it early next time. And then uh, you know, if you're a college student or you're a high school student, hopefully your teacher is going to give you the first period there off or go. something like that. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to give you that, right? Yes, let's vote. All right. Okay. All right. So there we go. Um. Okay. Should we talk about sports? Yeah, Yelich. All right. Uh, Good for him. I he's he's the kind of guy I want on my team. 
He's loyal because he goes, the Brewers wanted me. At, they got me out of Miami. I'm staying with them my whole career. Well, Gene, superstar outfielder Christian Yelich and the Milwaukee Brewers are deep in discussion on, a, well, this is past news, a contract yeah, yeah. extension. Expected to run, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, he signed a contract extension. Uh, seven years. Uh, I don't have. <laughs> well, long, this is now, all after the fact, now, so I don't now, have the exact. Now number. it's longer because he, they're doing deferred payments till 2030 or 2000 past that, maybe 2040. He's getting. Uh, he he's taking less each year, and then they're doing deferred payments. He's getting on the Bobby Bonilla. So what is he time. making per year? Like 25 then, no, or 20? It's going to be less. It's going to be like 20. They're doing deferred payments. Oh, okay. um, for many years after, I think four million a year deferred for like ten years or so after he's. Damn. Uh, yeah, I mean it worked for Bobby Benia, but he's so good for the team, and it 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 helps them uh, financially. So uh, whatever his contract, they'll pay him. I think yeah. Then he's he's taking less. Yeah. Well, Gene. Yeah, uh, that's he, the kind of guy he initiated it on his side and said yeah. he didn't know where anywhere else he would rather be than Milwaukee. Well, and he obviously he doesn't have Scott Boris as an agent like Chris Bryant does, so that's why we're <laughs> stuck. Yeah, Scott's like, uh, dude, you probably left a hundred no million. Way. He probably did leave a hundred million on the table, Maybe. though. But he's, I like, I like the way he operates. But uh, yeah, the Cubs aren't going to get that kind of deal with. Yeah, but I mean, he's the uh, big fish in a small pond. I mean, he's going to make a little bunch of money in endorsements, he right? Likes it. Hey, uh, Christian, open up a uh, line of uh, Ford dealerships, okay? That's right. Yelich, Yelich Ford. Yeah. I, he, <laughs> get a look. Gas is really cheap, I hear, these days, Gene. Oh, my so. gosh. Um, getting good. I'm sure there's a couple of dealerships that are uh, about to <laughs> run out of money. See so at the Kenosha <laughs> March Cheese Castle. If they need uh, someone. Yeah. So, Gene, as a uh, Cubs fan, yeah, how does that feel knowing that? Because uh, you know, you assume because Yelich has two more years on his right, contract right. with the Brewers, he he's from you know maybe here for two more years, a year, and then one after this, yeah. he's gone, he's gone I to know. make four hundred million dollars somewhere I'm else. I'm, I'm now glad. he's in the, the now he's in the division well, for the next ten years. I know, I know, and I wish some of the Cubs they could get that done with him. No, he's great. I really like him for the community. I hope Giannis does the same thing. He'll have to. He'll get the same Mac. He'll <laughs> yeah, get there the Mac. No, I want him to stay in Milwaukee. I like it. I don't care if the Brewers. I don't <laughs> want the Birds beat the Cubs, but I'm glad. I like that Milwaukee's got can a we, hero. All right, can we get Yelich and Aaron Rodgers to sit down with Giannis and say, "Hey, you, this place don't sucks. Go, don't go anywhere. This place sucks, but you will be a legend." Yeah. Well, you won't be because you're black, but uh, oh, okay. Nothing you can do about that. Mm, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Gene. I uh, want. I good for Jan or good for Yelich and Gene. Uh, you you know how they show like the most home runs against yeah. a uh, team? Yeah. It's about to be Yelich versus the Cubs. They're going to show that stat. Most uh, mm. he's going to hit like 400 home runs. But that's off the Cubs. that's the only way you can do it if you're a team like Milwaukee. You got to get you got to find a superstar and then hope. They, so good for Yelich. Yep. I, yep. I'm I'm happy for Milwaukee. There you go. All if right. the Cubs can't win, then sure they can win. Pretty good deal. Pretty that might be the deal of the yeah. well, century. I mean, he might character. be the second best good, player in baseball. Got good character. Good he's character. probably better than Mike Trout, anyways. You know. Mm. What's Mike Trout? Well, Mike Trout's better. But. Yeah, but Trout and Trout didn't sign for it. He's getting like four hundred million. We'll see Mookie Betts. Ooh, yeah. All right. Well, Gene, that's a oh uh, they, goodbye to Jimmy. Let's go to the NFL. That's all the baseball news we're going to talk about. By the way, baseball in two weeks is it two uh, weeks? Isn't it? Are you, are you March twenty sixth? Are you going to the Midwest? Are you gonna yeah. you're gonna bring coronavirus to the Midwest? I, you're gonna I be patient not, zero. I am not gonna be patient zero. Uh, I'm going to go April 12th to Sunday Night Baseball, Cubs Cardinals. And hopefully okay. on that trip, see the Bucks play in Milwaukee. And hopefully. All right. Yeah, see All Giannis. Right. Have a talk. Well, Gene, you know he, you, who you won't see who? in Jimmy Green Graham. Bay. One potential playmaker hitting the free market is Packers tight end Jimmy Graham. Mm. Not expected back in Green Bay, sources say. Move with the 33-year-old former free agent. Signing I, is notable, though now not a surprise to anyone. This has got to be a wrap. Anyone like Jimmy, who right? watches the game, I he can't. Games. Dude, you know, he's unless 
Well, maybe you can go play for the Bears. The Bears are desperate. I don't well, know. Gene, Would anyone? Yeah. Let's just say I uh, hope it doesn't drop the ball on his new contract. Oh, too many drops in your I, – I didn't pay close enough attention. Yeah, you can't catch the ball. That's the problem, too many drops. Well, that's kind of a big deal. Well, Gene, I wish him the best of luck, and wherever he goes, I hope he uh, catches on quick. <laughs> yeah. I think he's done. The way you're talking, I think he's done. I can't catch the ball. can't catch the ball. He, Oh, well, Gene, he might be able to catch these loose noodle uh, Mitch Trubisky throws, oh but he can't, can't handle these big boy throws from Aaron Rodgers. We're not sure Mitch is going to be the quarterback next <laughs> well, year. Well, Gene, uh, nice segue. Oh, okay. Because uh, <laughs> that, that, we have that, rumors no way. I, that Eli Me- Manning right. is meeting with the Chicago Bears brass mm. in Chicago at a restaurant. This, of course, is reported by Leroy Insider, the dog. Yeah. From uh, what's the guy's uh, PT? Uh, oh, PTF uh, commentator, his podcast. Commenter. Yeah. Commentator. Um, but pardon total, my take. T- p- total ripoff of it. We were first, by the yeah, way. Yeah. Pardon my take. Him and we Dick were Cap. first. Yeah. Uh, I don't. A lot of people say it never happened, and the ones that even if it did happen, they're praying it's not true. There's. I don't. Wow. Gene, you would give Eli a shot. No. Yes, I you, don't think so. Well, you, you yeah. won two Super Bowls. You beat Tom Brady twice. Yeah. Okay, I'll give him a shot. You talk me into it, but it's not, it doesn't, no. Uh, Why not? Come on, Eli. I One year. So. Yeah, mm-hmm. Super Bowl defense. Yeah. Let's get, let's get Tom Coughlin in as the, uh, <laughs> Assistant uh, head coach. I'll tell you, I listen to enough Chicago uh, talk that uh, the fans, no way. They that's don't want a this? Big, that's a big pass. That's a big no So thanks. they're saying I want Mitch Trubisky to start over Eli Manning. Uh, yeah, they, he's about the only one. I think Good Lord. They, yeah. Yeah, they're split on Andy Dalton. By the way, Illinois started gambling today, first day. Well, yeah, I finally. was going to say that Illinois became the 15th state with legal sports gambling. You still can't do it mobile. You got to go inside the casino, but ah, they're so slow there. Gene, can I uh, ask you this? Mm. Can we get rid of the goddamn tolls? Oh, my God. Can we stop it? I, dare, I don't know they're, where all their money goes. They're never going to get rid of it. Cause, no, there's no way. They're supposed to it's do already it. How much billions of dollars they make? They're not going to get rid of that. But they, they, they need it for their legal defense fund when their governor goes to prison or their mayor or congressman or whoever. Well, these, these police uh, payouts yeah. to these victims. Yeah. Well, Gene, I just uh, let's just go back to Eli Manning really yeah. quick to Chicago. I mean, Gene, are, are the Bears are this desperate? <laughs> no, they're bringing Eli. Uh, Gene, how, how about Jim McMahon? How about we bring him back? Huh? Okay, now you got now you piqued my interest. <laughs> That's about how, how about Rex Grossman? What is he doing? I I take Jay Cutler. He can't play worse than uh freaking uh what's his face uh Mitch Trubisky. I'll tell you this, I would take Jay Cutler. Yeah, G- now, now Jay came back him. from the uh for the Dolphins yeah, two years ago. He, he want to come back for the Bears? I I take him right now. Yeah, give him a shot. What what's he doing? He's sh- Having his ass show up on Instagram? Yeah. Too, too busy uh, to play beyond the bear? He's on the reality show, keeping up with Ke- or whatever that Cavalier yeah. show is. Yeah. Hey, Gene, use, yeah. use the hard knocks. You can do use the same footage. Mm. Everyone saves a bunch of money. Right. All right. All right, and then uh, <laughs> Tom Brady. That's Tom, not going to happen. Tom Brady. From San Francisco, San, from, I'm sorry, from San Mateo, went to college in Michigan. That's why we talk about Tom yeah. Brady here. He's from Northern California, right? San Mateo, yeah, that's yeah, in San, San Mateo, Francisco. Right. Tom Brady launches Hollywood Production Company. Gene, mm. did you hear about this? Yes, I did. Have you, uh, has your agent tried to get no. you a uh, interview, or uh, I'm sorry, an audition? This one doesn't. This is a big fat. Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Well, you and everyone else got a production. Gene? Deal. He can just make his own stuff. I'll tell you what, Gene. If Bill Belichick isn't directing, I ain't interested. <laughs> that's right. Let's see Tom Brady do something without Bill Belichick, all I, right? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. How about Romeo Cornell? 
I'd like to see him give it a whirl somewhere. Else. Hey, how about this? Romeo and Julian Edelman. That's right. <laughs> I got it. You're very close. You're missing a T. But yeah. Romeo and Julian. I, 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 I got it the first Tom time. Tom Brady's Romeo and Julian. <laughs> All right. The third time, it still, right. still got it so the first work, time. I'm working on this, Gene. This is yeah, workshop. Yeah, good. 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 Uh, how about this one, Gene? Mm. I think he's, uh, you know what his first movie is going to be about? What? Story about a uh, six-round QB and a Brazilian supermodel. What's a supermodel? I was a what's, supermodel. What's her name? Um, Giselle. Giselle Bunchen. Yeah. I saw it. They showed it. They. By the way, what, were Bunchen? What, were her parents like Nazis that came over to Brazil? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't know I a lot of Brazilians named Bunchen. I'm, I'm sorry. Go, go ahead, Jim. Oh yeah, they showed a video of it. He sung his house, in in, in Massachusetts Boston? somewhere. Uh, it is incredible, but it's. I think it's on the market for thirty or forty million. Jesus. Who's got that? Who, I don't know. You're talking a very specific market. It's the same thing with Jordan in Chicago. His house has been on the market for years and years and years. Michael Jordan? Yeah. Been there well, forever. How about, J, how about Jay Rose? How about him? Mm. Um, Any more Buchin? Yeah, um, how about this? Uh, he's looking for, uh, you know, talk about making movies. Yeah. How about a new Jason Bourne trilogy, huh? How about that? He, nice. He looks like Matt Damon, don't you think? A little bit? Yeah, he's a good-looking guy. Oh, well, of course he's a good-looking guy. Yeah. All right. Oh, this Gene, is very exciting. We love hoops. Hey, we love hoops I'll around tell you here. this. Uh, Iowa's had a great year, and uh, b- and Wisconsin was terrible for a long time. But, wow, they, and then you look up at the end of the season, they're in first place. Well, they uh, – <laughs> I wonder how Kobe King feels. I know all they about went, that. That was the kid went, that went, uh, basically bounced from the th- team. They went fourteen and six in the Big Ten, so they tied with what since he left or what? No, uh, total in the Big Ten. Oh, okay. So they tied for first with Michigan State and Maryland. I think that's who it was. Michigan State, and Maryland. Yeah, so they're Big Ten champs. Good for yep. them. Good job, Badgers. Iowa finished eleven. Uh, Iowa had a great year too, but yeah. Is it the legends or the? Uh, no, they don't do that in ba- in basketball. They're all in the same oh. deal. Yeah, and okay. in the tournaments this week. Well, Gene, Wisconsin won nine of its final ten games of oh, the regular season, go. including eight in a row to close out. Wow! The Badgers finished with a twenty-one and ten record and earned the number one overall season in the Big Ten tournament or the seed. I'm sorry, in the yeah. Big Ten. Yeah, yeah. They will have a double bye and start turning play on Friday. Greg Gard. Big Ten Coach of the Year, hmm. and uh, yeah, all you gotta do is get rid of that uh, malcontent athlete, and uh, you start winning. Yeah, the former lacrosse player, right? Yeah, poor Kobe King. I wonder how he, he is, went to your yeah. high school. Yeah, he went to uh, Lacrosse Central. Yeah, wow. I mean, like they ten years. Right. Hey, I'll like tell you, fifteen years after I did, obviously. Uh, I was good. Uh, good. Illinois was great too. Illinois had a great year. So uh, there, there's going to be a lot of teams in the Big Ten in the NCAA. So that's very exciting. I I'll be watching. Oh yeah, now I have two TVs, and uh, so I can watch Iowa or March Madness, and then wrestling on the big big one. Very exciting. Uh, March Madness with empty stadiums, possibly, right? Well, Gene, you watch with the sound off anyways. Yes. So, um, oh, you know what, though? Big Ten Wrestling, they showed the finals yesterday. I had the sound on the whole oh time. Yeah? Oh, it was more t- exciting for me than the Super Bowl. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and four Iowa guys were in the finals. Three of them won the Big Ten title. Yeah. But the Badgers, they're they are good. They, they're they f- Wow, they're playing great, so. Very exciting. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, we, get, we got to look forward to. Is, got a lot uh, to look forward is to. Is the Big Ten tournament at the United Center? Is that why you got it there? Um, I don't know. I just thought. Uh, That's you Chicago. Know, it's, it's United Center, Chicago. It's in the yeah. background. I guess there's a Mighty Ducks. Mighty Ducks versus the Blackhawks, I guess it looks like. Yeah. Game. Man, it's tough. It's tough being in Chicago. The Blackhawks are terrible. The Bulls are awful. Uh, the Bears have. Tough year, and and now <laughs> Mitch Trubisky is still the quarterback for the yeah, Bears. Yeah, but and then the Cubs haven't spent any money, but you have gambling. So there you go. You know what the first bet was of the the history of Illinois? 
But today, Some, something about the Cubs winning the World Series. Or I something. know. It, uh, Eddie Olchek, uh, the broadcaster, he did it. He was the guy that did it. He bet $100 on the White Sox to win the American League pennant, 16 to 1. So ah, is, is Ozzy Gian back? Or no. <laughs> they have uh, Ricky Renteria, the Cubs old manager. But a lot of people expect big things from them. Yeah. All right. Well, don't uh, they have a brewer, right? They have Hernan the Perro. They, 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 well, they have They have two I think they have a couple Two of their best players are Cubs that they fleeced off the Cubs for Jose Quintana. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, oh well. I hope next week goes. I hope this week somehow, I pray, goes better than what we're going through right now. Don't you? Kind of. Well, Gene, it's dark times, but it can get a whole heck of a lot worse so okay. uh, well, let's then, just oh maybe i should be maybe next week i'll be like oh man i i miss i miss <laughs> you missed last on. week oh yep all right all right well uh on that bright note look on the bright side of life i feel yeah. good optimistic um, i'm gonna be optimistic on well, that we're gonna end it right there yeah. so uh thanks for uh listening my name is uh chris Stotts. i think this should be playing i think it is and then uh, that's Gene Steichen. And uh, we will see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Bye.